Okay, the business manager, you have to ensure that you're logged in to a Facebook account. So you can see that I'm logged into a Facebook account. So I'm going to navigate to my ads account and then I'm going to be creating the business manager from there. So if you don't already have a business manager created, when you when you go to um, Google, just type facebookbusinessmanager.com and then it's going to take you to an interface where it's going to be asking you to create with different information for, but for this very account um a business manager had already been created sometimes also facebook automatically creates the business manager for you right but then if you if you click on um if you go to your ads account and you don't you see that there is no business manager created for you you want to go on to create it following the process i'm going to be showing you how to do that right now so if you come to all tools from your ads account and you go to business settings you're going to be seeing that an ad account has, sorry, a business account has already been created for you. But if it hasn't and it's still telling you to create one for yourself, just follow the process. I'm going to be showing you how to do it. All right. So um, usually every profile can create up to two business accounts. All right. So this account already has a business account and I'm going to be creating a, a new one for her by clicking on create a business account. So this process is not going to show you how to go on to create yours in case one hasn't already been created for you. So like I said earlier, or if I hadn't mentioned, um, you know, there are a lot of benefits to creating business, a business manager account. All right. So it helps you to control all your advertising assets, like your Facebook page, your Instagram account, your WhatsApp account, and Pixels. So Pixels are tracking tools that you use to track activities on your website. All right. So when people run, when you run ads to your website and you know, um, people come there to do different things. So the pixel actually helps you to track all the um all the activities that are going on on your website, like purchases or button clicks and all of that. All right. So you can actually, you know, control everything from your business manager. So consider it as a dashboard where you control all your advertising assets, including your WhatsApp accounts, your Instagram accounts, your Facebook pages, and your ad accounts. So from a business manager, you can actually create more than one ad account so let's say for instance that your default ad account has some issues or you just want to be able to have multiple ad accounts so that you can create you know more ads you can actually create you know um you know different ad accounts on your business manager connected to your facebook pages and your instagram accounts and you know do a whole lot of things all right so um I'm not going to be going on to create this business business accounts because this person hasn't given me the permission to do so. All right, but then it's very simple from here. Once you click on that create button, whether or not you have created one for yourself or not, it's going to be asking you to enter all this information, your business name, your first name, your surname, your business email address, and then you go on to click on create. And then you're going to be asked some more information. And that is that, all right? So I'm going to be using this business account to show you how to add different, um, you know, different assets, starting from people, you're going to be able to add people to this business manager. So let's say, for instance, that you are a company and you want to be able to, you know, invite your people, you invite people who manage ads for you to create ad accounts for you. You can actually, you know, sorry, to create ads for you. You can actually add them up by clicking on these users and then to drop down people, partners, and system users. So if I click on people, it's going to be asking me to um, enter or invite people. So if I click on invite people, um, so it's going to ask you to enter the email address. It says, ask people to join your business by entering their email address, then assign their assets and which accounts and tools they can use. All right. So let's say, for instance, I want to add myself as an admin or as I'm one of the managers of this ad account. So I'm going to be adding my email address. All right. So then I'll click on next. And then it's going to be asking me to, you know, give, assign um access to this person. So is it basic access? Is it app integrations or full control? All right. So, um, or do I want this person to manage everything? So this is the most, this is the most control you can give someone. They can do all of the above and assign other people full control and delete the business account, all right? So um, I'll just come here and then I'll click on which one I want. I'll click on which one I want and then I'll go on to click on next. So the basic actually allows people to um, 
view people with full control. Everyone added to the business account gets basic assets. They can work only on pages, Instagram accounts, or other business assets that you assign to them. So this app integrations, it says, okay, so this basic is actually default. Then the app integrations allows the people you add to set up conversion API, monitor events, edit applications, and create access tokens. To so help keep your business account secure, we recommend you limit the number of people who can control your business. This one is actually understandable, all right? You don't want to add too many people, all right? So this one is an advanced feature which allows you to view or manage financial information for the business account, such as transaction, invoices, account spend, and payment methods. So let's say, for instance, that you there is someone whom you want to keep accountable to this account and how you spend funds on this account. You can actually give them finance um access all right so you can actually um you know give them so from here all you just need to do is to okay so this one is basic so this one is already default for this one you can actually um give them access to apps and integrations by clicking on view and manage so they said this is sensitive tag so we'll just leave that one but we are we're actually supposed to be able to do that okay let's go on then full control, I'll click on manage, all right? Then for this advanced option, I'll click on manage. And then let's see, we'll click on next. And then um, we are now going to be able to assign the assets, assign the um the assets. We want to give these people access to. If you want to give them access to your pages, you know, there are different kind of pages now on Facebook. We have the new page experience. We have the classic pages. So this page that is on this account is, um is a class sorry is a new page experience so and this is the name of the page so if you want this person to manage this page you just click on right you just click here and then they'll be able to manage the page then if you have pages that are in classic that are still on the classic mode you can also add them up but for this account she doesn't have any page that is on classic right so um if there are other pages here that are also on the new page experience they are all going to be dropping down and then you can also tick them off all right so let's say I want this person to manage this page. I'll click on that. And then um, it's going to be showing you the permission you can actually give this person. So basically, you can give people admin access to your page by doing this, all right? So um, I'll, I want to give this person full control. So I'll just take this and then I can click on invite, all right? So aside from that, I also want to give them access to ads accounts as well. So I'm going to be clicking on ads accounts and then I'll click on the ad accounts I want to give them access to. All right. So um, if there are more than one ad account on this business manager, you can also tick all of them off. All right. So I'll just click on this and then I'll give the person full control or depend on the control you want to give the person. Then for pixels, if you want to also help make them manage your pixels as well, you can also do that. Then catalogs. This person doesn't have any catalogs. Then apps, if you have any app on this business manager. So that's why I said. A business manager actually helps you to control advertising assets. So let's say, for instance, that you are running ads to a particular app and it's already, you know, part of this, your business manager. You can give people access to it as well to manage and control activities on the app, all right? Then pixels, you can also do that. Then Instagram accounts also, you can give, you know, access to people to manage your Instagram accounts from your business manager. So I'll just click on it and then I'll give this person... Um, okay, so there is no full control here, but I can just tick everything here. I can just tick everything here. And then I'll click on invite. So ensure that you've already ticked off all the um all the assets you want to give them and the level of control you want to give them before you can actually do that. So after you've done that, you want to ensure that you go through everything to be sure that you have done the right thing. And then you can click on invite. All right. So um, so that is that about adding people. Then for partners. Let's say, for instance, okay, so for me as an advertising agency, um, from time to time, I get people who want me to manage their ads for them. They already have a business account and they just want to, you know, bring me in on into their business account as a partner so that, like, it's, you know, things become easy for us. So um, if you want to do that, all you need to do is to, um, first of all, they said, this person doesn't have any partners, but... Um, they said you can invite partners, partners to share assets with. So you can give them permission to work on your assets so that they can help you manage pages or ads. All right. So partners to request assets from add a new partner and request assets to work on their behalf. So essentially, um, 
what adding a partner means is that this person, the person with whom you're going to be adding as a partner, already have their own business account as well. So you will see that by the time I click on add, they're going to be asking for the partner's business account ID. So I'll need to now give them, say for instance, I'm the one whom they are going to be giving partner access to. I'm going to be giving them my business account ID and then they will add me up so we can manage assets together. So usually, um, they said partner to request assets from, add a new partner and request assets to work on their behalf. Okay, so this is actually a two-way thing. So it is either this person is giving permission to partners or I am giving them permission, all right? So I'll click on this one because I'm the one who wants to request this person to work for me. So it says add a new partner to allow them to assess, to assess assets that your business owns. While they will have access to use them, your business will still be in control of the assets, all right? So I'm not going to be giving them my business ID. All right, so I'll give them my business ID and then they are going to be now, they are, they are not going to be able to give me partnership assets. So once they give me partnership assets, I'm, I'm going to be able to, you know, control everything in this place, including their pages, their ads accounts and everything about this business account. All right. So, um, so let's leave out this system users. It may not really be necessary for you to, you know, add up system users. So aside from um people or users who are going to also, you know, be helping you to, manage this business account aside from so aside from users um aside from adding users on this business accounts another thing you can do is to add different accounts so when they say account they mean pages ad account business asset group apps um instagram accounts and <coughs> instagram accounts and whatsapp accounts as well all right so to add um, all of this is actually very easy. So let's say, for instance, that you are a business who, you know, you run different business, you, you run different, you know, sets of businesses. Let's say, for instance, you're an affiliate marketer and you also sell, you know, e-commerce, like you also sell shoes online and you do different, different things and you want to be able to manage ads for these different businesses all right so what you can do is to actually you know add up all your pages so let's say you already created um up to three pages from your business profile so sorry from your facebook profile what you can actually do is to add up all those pages here but before you can actually do that you will need to have a primary business page meaning that your account has to has that one page that is associated with it all right so um all you just need to do is to come to add so let's say you don't even have any page at all yet you're going to be able to add that and before you do that you would you know facebook would ask you to have a primary business page all right so it's actually very simple so um to add the page i'll just come to add the page and then it says add a facebook page if your business already owns the page if you work for an agency you should request for your clients pages so let's say for instance that the page i want to add does not belong to me i can request access to that page all right but if the page belongs to me it is actually a page on my profile it's actually very easy so i'll just click on that app page and then you're going to be able to now type the facebook page in here or add the page url all right so let's say for instance the name of the page i want to add is um um royal so once i start typing it it will start showing up all the name of the pages that are related to this so if i click on it you know it's if it's originally my page i'm going to be able to add it up immediately but then if it's a page belonging to another business i should you know what i should do is to request access to that page all right so if the page is your own you can go on to add it by entering the name or the url but if it is not mine if it is someone else's page i can request access to the page and also i can also create a new page from here as well so once i've created the page what i can do is to assign people to manage this page all right so let's say for instance all the people that you have added to your page you want to now add them up you know, to manage this page for you or you want to be, you know, you want them to be able to run ads with that page from this business account. You just click on this. So let's say this is the, um, let's say you already have a number of people. You can just, you know, the, the, the person's name is going to pop up here and then you can click on the person's name and then give the person um, full control or partial control to know you manage, to help you manage the page. All right. So let's say I want to give this person who, by the way, is the owner of this account. So I'm just going to click on everything and then I'll click on assign. So doing this is going to ensure that the person can actually run ads with this page, all right? So I'll click on done and then this person now has access to 
this page you can also assign partners to manage this page as well so you want to run ads and you want them to be able to run ads with this page you can assign them as partners then another thing you can also do is to create an ad account so let's say for instance that you already have this account so for this person this account has been disabled she's no longer able to run as with this fx account you're seeing here but let's say now she wants to be able to create another ad account she can actually do that by coming to add but unfortunately facebook has actually limited the number of ad accounts she can create right now because um she hasn't you know been following all their policies according to them so they have placed a limit on um, how many ad accounts she can actually create but if she wants to create other ad accounts she can create another business manager so like i said every facebook profile can create up to two business managers all right so if she can no longer create ad accounts on this business manager she can go on to create another um you know business manager and then create other ad accounts all right so aside from creating ad accounts so basically let's say for instance that she can actually create an ad account all she needed to do is to click on create and then it's to take you through the process to create an ad account so if you're going to be having issues with creating ad accounts i have created a tutorial showing you how to create an ad account when you have issues with paying for your facebook um you know for your facebook ads all right so you want to see that video and it's going to be showing you how to create an ad account from this scratch right i'm going to be leaving the link in the description of this tutorial so that you can go on to do that successfully all right so for instagram accounts to so add an instagram account just click on just click on it and then um it's actually the same process just click on add and then it's going to be asking you to enter the um login of the instagram account and then once you enter the login you're now going to be able to add it up so um let's say i want to add an instagram account i'll just click on phone i'll click on so i'll click i'll enter the name um of the ad account enter the password and then i'll click on login so from there you're not going to be able to connect it to this business manager so after connecting the business account sorry after connecting the instagram account to this business manager you're going to be you're going to assign assets all right and by assigning assets you're going to be assigning an ad account that you're now going to be using to run as for this Instagram account. If you don't do that, the Instagram account is not going to be reflecting on, you know, the ad account that you're going to be using to run as. It's not going to be reflected as, you know, an Instagram account and you're not going to be able to run ads with that Instagram account on that ad account, all right? So you want to click on assign asset and then add the ad account you want to use to be running, um, you know, ads for this um account, all right? So I'm going to be clicking on, let's say it's this, account that i want to associate with the instagram account i'll just click on on it and then i'll click on add all right so by doing that i'm now going to be able to run ads um i'm not going to be able to run instagram ads from that ad account all right then for whatsapp accounts is also the same process um so this this person already has her whatsapp account connected to this business manager but if you don't already have yours you can just click on add and then you'd be directed to enter the phone number and then you'll be asked to um you know a code will be sent to you and then you you're going to be ent entering the code and then you can go on to you know add up your you can actually add as many business accounts as possible even the ones that you're not the ones you're not the one managing them you can actually add them up and then be able to control everything from here so if you want to run ads that leads to instagram it's going to be helping you you know um control everything from over here all right so having a business manager is very important because it helps you to manage a lot of assets all right so let me know in the comment section if this is making any sense to you and if you're yet to subscribe to this channel kindly do me a favor and hit on the subscribe button so that um you will not miss out on tutorials like this where we share information on how to advertise using meta google and other platforms and also here on this channel we show you how to make money online all right so um that is that about how to create a business manager i believe that you've gotten massive value from watching this tutorial and also don't forget to hit the like button because it helps the youtube algorithm show this to many more people who are interested in getting this done as well i'm going to be leaving the link to my whatsapp in the description of this video if you have any challenge come talk to me and we'll resolve it together and don't forget that we are also an advertising agency we can actually help you set up and manage and optimize ads for you on instagram on facebook and also on google all right so thanks for staying until the end and i'll see you in subsequent tutorials bye for now